Hello and welcome to this session on Selenium Builder. So we are going to start with uh, Selenium Builder and we are going to learn what Selenium Builder is. How do we get started with Selenium Builder? We will record a very simple login test using this tool and then we will try to run our recorded test on the Selenium server. In the later part of this session, we will see how can we export our recorded test into any different programming languages okay so let us begin and let us uh, start with step one so you have to go to your firefox browser and install sc builder and then you have to restart your firefox so selenium builder is a add-on and plugin for firefox browser so you have to go to your firefox and just say selenium builder and the very first site we get is for Selenium Builder Next Evolution and here they say Selenium Builder is a faster way to build test it's a Firefox add-on that lets you easily create Selenium tests and you have to follow three simple steps you have to record by giving a URL you have to uh, record your actions and then you can run your recorded test case so just go to install and it will take you to add-ons page and you can uh, go to add to Firefox and then you can do a restart for Firefox I'm not uh, installing it again because I already have it okay so uh, once you install and restart your Firefox then it you have to start your Selenium Builder so again once your Firefox is up and running after restart you can go to tools menu then they will be web developer and then inside that you will find an option to launch SE Builder okay so uh, whether you are on Windows or Mac it does not make any difference because it is uh, working on Firefox which is platform independent so this is the uh, menu you have to go to tools web developer and launch Selenium Builder so in my case uh, I am on Mac I will go to my Firefox tools web developer the same menu and launch SE Builder so you can see this window pops up for Selenium Builder and here you can start your recording at any URL you provide here okay so in my case uh, let us go to this particular simple login page for a wordpress.com okay so let me put a step number three here start recording and this is the website that I am going to okay so I will just give my URL here and I'll click on record and to uh, make it more intuitive I will split my window so that you can see the actions being recorded so now you can see this is my Firefox browser and this is the Selenium Builder window as soon as I will click record here you can see the actions being recorded on this window whatever I'll do on my browser so I select record and the login page of WordPress is coming up and now you see whatever I'll uh, do on this window will get recorded on Selenium Builder so let me give some dummy username let me give some dummy password and click on login okay now you see all my actions got recorded okay now uh, I also have to record some verification points in my test okay so for example this was a test for invalid credentials and I want to check that I am getting this error message so it becomes very easy with selenium builder you just have to click here record verification point and now you can see wherever I'll take my cursor on the browser it highlights that particular element okay so I want to select this I'll click here and you can see this action got recorded okay so this is how we record uh, our actions it's very simple and now we have to run what we have recorded okay so I'll go to run and it gives me several options run on selenium server and run on cross browser testing and so on we will see all the options in our uh, coming series but for now I will run on selenium server there is another option which is run test locally but that option is no longer available in the uh, latest version of selenium builder the reason for that is because 
Firefox latest version does not support running the test cases locally due to some security issues so as of now we do not have this option in this uh, version but maybe later on if they fix these issues we might get that for now I have to run on selenium server okay but for running on selenium server I have to uh, make my selenium server ready so for that you have to start your selenium server so what I'm going to do is run the recorded test on selenium server and for that download selenium server jar and you can place the jar at any location on your system and then you have to go to command prompt if you are on windows or terminal if you are on a mac and go to the location of the jar file and then you have to say java space hyphen jar and the name of the jar file okay so what you will do is just go to the selenium website i am going to selenium hq.org go to download selenium and here you can see selenium standalone server whatever version is present at your time click here and you will get this jar downloaded I'm cancelling this as of now because I already have it so uh, let me show you my jar file is located at tools desktop tools selenium selenium server jars and here is the jar file so I will go to my terminal and I will navigate to that particular location it's under desktop tools selenium selenium server jars and now i will say java space hyphen jar and the name of the jar file and i will say enter so you can you will find this selenium server is up and running and this is the url i'll just copy this and i'll go to my browser and i will paste it and enter so by default it starts on uh, port 4444 and if you get this kind of a window that means it's up and running okay so now I can go back to my uh, selenium builder and let me okay so now I can say run run on selenium server and now it is saying localhost 4444 which is okay browser is firefox and run okay so now it will start a firefox version and it will run my test case I will again split the window so that you can see what is happening so it is now getting to the wordpress home page it is entering whatever actions I performed and now you see this element is in progress so it is showing in yellow the ones which are getting passed is are shown in green and in case anything is failed it will show in uh, red now it is taking so much time because we have set the timeout to uh, the, the default timeout is 60 seconds so let us uh, go to file script settings and this is the timeout let me just reduce the timeout and say ok and the reason it is not getting this particular uh, element is because we have to click here and actually it recorded something uh, which is not present I can directly go to this particular window and I can say delete step I'll say stop playback okay and this is how I can edit my action so you can click here you can either delete edit uh, add something before or after the step or you can also click here on the step number and now you see I am getting all the options and all the details of the step so the in this is an input step the action is set element text and I am setting the text on to 3 4 I can actually change this as something else I can, I can say ok I can click on the locator and I can change the locator as well I want to select an X path and while selenium uh, builder had recorded this action it has also recorded all the possible identifiers so I am click I can click anything else and I can say ok
okay so uh, the other good thing is that suppose you want to uh, change any identifier you can also click on find and it will highlight that particular field on the browser and in case it is not able to that means uh, your identifier is not correct so let me again show you let me go to some element let me go to the user name and let me go to the locator and I will say find it will highlight it okay so now I have fixed my test case I am going to run it again I will say run on selenium server let us see this time so the login is taking some time let us wait for the error message to appear and yes see uh, because we had set the timeout to 20 seconds and it could not find that particular uh, message within 20 seconds so it has failed it right so this is how we can uh, you know verify our test case and if I want I can go to script settings again and I can increase the timeout so that it will pass the second time okay so uh, once you have got this the step number five will be run and validate your test okay so step number six is saving and exporting recorded test so uh, this test is already recorded now what I can do is I can go to file and I can go to save so you can see selenium builder saves all its test as .json format so I can save this test case okay my first SE builder test and now whenever I want I can open that test from there and I can run it okay so like this I can record all my test case and I can save my test case but the good thing here is I can also export so I'm going to export and now you see it is giving us all the possible options I can save as JSON or I can export as a Java file JUnit, TestNG, Ruby, Python and so on if I click on Java and let me say my first test dot java and save it let me go to my desktop and this is my file let me open it with any text editor and you see it has actually exported my recorded test as a java program so now I can use this particular file and import it into my project or use it as it as it is I can also edit this file and I can use it as a Java program okay so uh, this is how we get started with selenium builder in the coming session we will explore this tool more and see what all other options are available with us hope you like it thank you